to the song view, I will say this. You need to have a uh, firm foundation of, we do this song this way. And again, this is back to order for not for the sake of order or legalism. Literally, there is none of that. I don't think you have sustained, effective, maybe spirit-led spontaneity without that as the starting point. I'm not anti-spontaneity or anti-spirit-led or anti-those things. I'm pro that, but you can't get there without starting with order. And so we have a standard, does that make sense how I'm yeah, saying yeah. that? Um, so we have a standard way a song is done, we have a standard row map, we have a standardized key. And I'm not even kidding, you should do that. I say this to everybody. And don't do the key that's in the Raptors. Again, back to your, that's actually great. What key should I be in is a great question, or is a great one to ask the question. Um, Oh, where is that? The question of how will this facilitate corporate worship? Well, the key. That's the key. How will this key facilitate or diminish corporate worship? The key will destroy sometimes. Um, so I like keys. Our goal is A to D uh, in the middle range. So the D right above middle C. Don't like to go below an A. It's really hard. Some songs have like an octave and a half, octave and six note range. It's really hard. We, we more and more stay away from those. It's kind of interesting because it's just not effective for corporate worship. Love the songs, made the greatest song ever. Really great for personal time in your car. Or let the college ministry do those. You know, where they don't care, they're rocking it out anyway. I don't know. But on corporate Sunday, ugh, stay away. It hurts me because I love some of those songs and for a while a lot of my worship's gone there. But just stay away from them in an odd way I say that. Some of them are wonderful songs. So maybe you do it and see if your congregation can handle it. Or you work with it. But you gotta get it in a certain range. Um, I'm more of a stay with other people. Um, you know, as a side tangent, I really want the men in the congregation to sing. I need them. I don't just, women are great at engaging in worship. They're like there before you're there. Like, I'm ready. Let's do worship. This is great. Let's sing it. I don't care. This is wonderful. And the men are like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. And if you don't give them a kid they can work with, they're never going to do it. And I want them to do it. I need them to do it. The life of your church needs to do it. So pick a kid that men can sing in. Um, so anyway, I like it. I think Paul watched the C is trying to see, the C to C. I pick A to D. If you pick out an E in there, eventually fine. If it is all over the joint, I say key in on the chorus being proper. So if you had to shift it one way or another, I want the main thrust or thesis of the song to be what you have a good key on. So I'd rather pick off an, a, a low G in the verse, because I don't care about the verse as much, than to give them an F in the chorus. Don't do that. Give them legit in the chorus. If you, have to, if you have to skim somewhere because you love the song, skim the verse is what I would say. Maybe skim the bridge. Sometimes the bridge is the, is the, the fun of it, though. Um, anyway, so pick that. That's a good starting point. You can learn the pocket. Um, this allows, is, you know, if you simplify, you can get to worship. This is not a concert. This is not a rock band. This is not a CD. So the goal is to get out of the way and do it excellently. You gotta be simple. So that's why I honestly say pick a key, pick a style. And then I mean, we have interchangeable parts all the time here. Constantly interchangeable parts. And if you don't have standardized stuff, it's really hard to do that. I mean, it's really hard. Not only just learning how to play with them, but where are we going? What are we doing? I've never played this before. Not that way. We're doing verse, verse, chorus, chorus, bridge, chorus, because I've never done that before. Why aren't we doing verse two? You don't want those questions. Those are worthless questions. They're just detracting, I think. So, in not a bad way, nail it down, give it to people. You don't keep printing music because it's standard. And then within that, say, hey, we're going to vamp out actually the bridge. I know that we normally do it twice, but this week we'll do it four times. You can totally do that, but I don't think you can effectively do that or sustain that for long haul if you don't nail it down in the front end. So, um, I do think you have to practice vamping. You need to practice the pocket. The pocket is where everyone, where it locks in, it feels good. We're now discombobulated, like, okay, yeah, you know, like I can tap my toe to this because we're actually all on the same page and doing it correctly. You need to make sure you have a pocket on a song. And I think you have to start there. We need to know what we're doing on this. And, and the standard roadmap helps that too, but you got to practice that and practice the transitions in the, in the coming out of a song, getting into a song. I practice them because you need to. Um, and then I'm down to 20 seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, what determines how a song done? Where it's at in the set? If it's, on the, it's, on, if it's uh, coming out of the message, it's very different than the front set. Uh, what, the, what are you trying to create in the congregation? What are the lyrics you're trying to emphasize? Um, I think it's fun to do it here in the worship, obviously, as an opener. But I like to do it as a closer every now and again, like at six. 
Because now you're saying, here I am to worship coming out to the world. Like, I'm here to worship God on my day to day, or on Monday, here I am to worship God. So I've done that before because I wanted to create that. Um, uh, alternating a guy versus a girl on it, that's another way of changing up a song without changing it. Uh, options to change a song, again, so you have a foundation, what are options to change it though? Now we have it nailed down, let's still enjoy ourselves and not be bored to death on this. Um, you can do small tempo changes, I mean small, I mean six to ten beats, no more. Um, instrumentation, maybe the acoustic led it before, now we're going to make it a piano driven song. Um, where do we do harmony? Where do we do unison? Things like that. Where do we cut out the band entirely? Maybe, you know what, verse two, we're going to go down to piano only. There's a lot you can do flavor-wise with instruments or things that does, has nothing to do with roadmap or key. So now that on roadmap and key, you can do instrument only, you can do drums here, acapella. Um, what's the lead instrument? Yeah, the lead vocal. Um, all right. Dangerous things to change are the melody and lyrics. Don't change those, please. Just sing the lyrics, <laughs> sing the melody. Maybe it's brilliant too. Maybe you brilliantly changed it, you know. Um, but again, the point is you're trying to facilitate Bob, who, you know, is working in, in the factory and he's coming in and he's tired. You know, or, you know, someone's been in an office all day long punching staples and papers, or a salesman's been beating his head against the wall because the economy sucks. And <laughs> how do I worship and engage in this? Well, don't throw him curveballs on Sunday morning, you know. I, it, Mike Jude totally changed up here into worship, or no, I'm sorry, heart of worship. Is that right? Was that the yeah. one? And in Christ alone. Forget that. He changed them all. But that was great because we're here and we're that's good for us. So that's good for a weekend like this. That's more dangerous on a standardized Sunday morning. Not that you couldn't do it. You could do it if you do it properly or if it's you know the right spot in your set or whatever. But it's just more dangerous. Just remember that anytime you make a, a major change, you could be really killing or diminishing corporate worship, and that's the point. Not really great worship time in your car or in a small group. I said, so. think of, oh, I'm sorry, mac and cheese. The thought of mac and cheese. You can't mess up mac and cheese. It's, it, it's noodles, milk, and cheese. Not and butter. You can't mess it up. So I'm not saying there's any wrong way to do a song. It really depends on what you're doing it for. You know, I have two little girls at home, love them. They love box mac and cheese. So just make it. No big deal. It's lunch on Tuesday. You know, if you go to a bank, they have macaroni on cheese. And so you fancy it up. That's fine, too. Um, but just remember what setting you're in and why you're doing it. And so I wouldn't do major changes with a macaroni and cheese because it's, it's corporate Sunday morning. Like, calm down. We just need a nice, stable macaroni and cheese that I can eat and enjoy, not fancy. Today, this weekend, let's do fancy. Sure, let's do it. That's really enjoyable. Or maybe a small group where it's more intimate and free-flowing. Absolutely. Um, 